Lauren, they, the judge has decided that he didn't want to keep her in the jail for contempt and um, she calls us and tells us to come get her. So here's her side of what happened just now. So what happened, Lauren? So they took me back in the holding cell and um, stayed back there for I don't know how long, maybe an hour. And then they came back and got me. The deputies got me, took me back out in the court. The judge said... Um, uh, that he put me back there so that I, uh, we wouldn't drag it on in front of everybody else or something along those lines. And he couldn't have me dragging it along. Um, so he put me back there and then brought me back out at the end when no one else was in the courtroom. And um, I asked for his delegation of authority, his sworn oath of office, and proof of jurisdiction and he told me he did not have to provide pr proof of jurisdiction he told me to shut up um, he pointed his finger at me and hollered at me to shut up um, i told them i told him that uh, according to the law it, it, you know he does need to prove his jurisdiction and he told me he did not and that was the end of that and he told them to take me back to jail and they took me back put me in the holding cell and then um, maybe a minute later the deputies came and they wanted me to sign a piece of paper for a new court date for it said July or June June or July um, 8th or no no 6th and um, I refused to sign. I said that I wasn't contracting with them. And they said, okay, that's fine. And they put me back in the holding cell. And <clears throat> a little bit after that, um, they called me back out. And he said, this time, he said, um, you don't have to say anything. Um, uh, but basically, you know, he told the, the, um, bailiff he said put the paper in front of her and give her a pen and have her sign it and I, I just said no I'm not signing it um, and he said okay well um, I'm telling you that you have to be here on May the, the 8th at 9 a.m. and if you don't I'm gonna put um, a warrant out for you <clears throat> and I told him that I did not consent to the proceedings and um, I told him that, well, actually, the McGillicuddy lady, she stood up and she said, you know, that I, um, or that they received my third notice for elements of discovery and that they were not providing them because they don't have to. And um, that was the end of that. And he told me, basically, get out with a, a, a verbal court date. They had a piece of paper in front of me, but I did not receive it. I mean, he, they tried to give it to me, but I, I refused. But so now you're being, so what they're going on is it's a notification of a court, a, a continuance of court be, with verbal it's notice. It's a calendar call. A verbal notice is all you're receiving. They, would you follow it up with you don't consent to the proceedings? Right. I don't see how they could be, I don't see how, well, but this no, is going to be interesting because I'd like to hear what everybody's going to say about this yeah. according to how this has been dealt with. <clears throat> but you never signed a con anything no. and you never consented to any of it. Mm -mm. He said he didn't have to prove his jurisdiction. And it's so funny when I was in there, I was praying. I said, God, vindicate me. And um, I said, let the criminal actions of these people be seen, um, you know, by everyone. And I said, strike them down right now. In their footsteps, strike them down. And the lights went off. Holy cow, you're kidding. I'm, I'm dead the serious. Kid, what do you mean the lights went All off? All the lights went off in the whole courtroom. Oh I mean, in, in, the, in the whole place, the lights went off for like 30 seconds. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm going to end that video right there. That, that's that's got the power of God, it seems like. That and a little bit of knowledge. Good job, Lauren.